Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing some random small stuff here. Including a couple new and pack three new and packages items, and a couple loose items. But our main review is going to be on this. The Star Wars Mission Fleet Shock Trooper. And he looks pretty cool looking. And the box art is pretty cool for this Star Wars Mission Fleet toy line. I dig it. Here we got some artwork on the back. Well, some product shot and art artwork. And other figures in the line like Darth Maul, Boba Fett. And this figure comes with a jetpack. You could say these figures are kind of based on the Star Wars, the Clone Wars design of the Shock Troopers. This is why I picked it up, because I like, I like Shock Troopers. This is the first item we're, we're reviewing today. For comparison, here he is next to my original Star Wars... Shock Trooper from Episode 3. They do share some similarities, but not completely. Doesn't look half bad, if I do say so myself. And I have another variant of that to compare it to. This one's got a different shoulder pad. Now we're going to look at the figure itself. This jetpack comes on and off pretty good. I'll probably leave the jetpack on. Arms are on a hinge, which is nice, or on a hinge joint, so you can pull it out that far, you can go pew pew, bang bang, that way, and be like, take this, clankers, pew pew, bang bang, and the other arm has the same articulation, no elbows, because these are small figures, so they couldn't give him an elbow, but there, he can get an arm out and be like, get them. And he can also um, kick. No bend at the knee, but he can kick. He'd be like, Ugh, take this, clanker. Take that, clanker. For a little tiny figure, this is pretty cool. And a ball-jointed head? That's awesome. And that's all there is to say for this item. We're going to go through the other items here. Next on the list, we got a Playmobil blind bag, and this is from the figure line from Dollar Tree. I kind of picked this up because it was only a dollar, and given I like figures a lot, and I have a few Playmobiles in my collection, here we have the Viking from this wave, and this is Series 11. And the other figures we have, in the, have to get in the line, like Pirate, Ghost Pirate, Construction Worker, Space Dude, Guitarist, Indian, Got Viking, Ghost Dude, Gladiator, not Gladiator, but Roman, Roman, Gla Roman Warrior. Uh, that is a Gnome, a Cowboy... And another space dude. But here we got the uh, Viking. And he looks pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Really nice paint on the shield. Nice paint on the chest. I love it. But now for comparison. Here he is next to another Playmobil. The uh, TV dude. Which I have. And finally, last but not least, my Playmobil Pirate. Yarg. I couldn't help the pirate voice here. Next on the review bucket list, with this small figures review, we got another item that's mint in package, and this is a Happy Meal toy. And it's pretty cool. Let's get this out of the packaging. Like so. 
I love it when I find figures brand new. And we got ourselves a Mickey Mouse jet. He's like, Woohoo! I'm flying a jet and I'm going sky high. I couldn't help that. It was fun, okay? And I have fun with these McDonald's toys. For sure. And it's Mickey Mouse. He's cute, isn't he? And that's all there is to say for that. Really good paint, really good sculpting. I like the thruster they added. And when you roll it, it seems like the thruster itself is moving. Huh. But that's all there is to say for that. And of course, I got a couple figures from the cartoon, better known as uh, Paw Patrol. The only reason I got these, because I thought Chase was cute, was a cute little doggy. And that's why I picked up these figures. I don't have any uh, intention to own more than just two of these. But this one has some cool gimmicks. Push the button and he gets these little shooter things, which is pretty cool. The first one. So now I'm going to put him back in his backpack. Not a bad cute dog. I love some cute doggies. I really do. Because I'm a dog. A dog lover myself. And I love dog figures. And here we got the original Chase. Head is on a rotation. Paws are poseable, if I do say so myself. No bend at the knee, but otherwise, this is a pretty cool, cute little dog. And you're probably wondering, where did I get the Star Wars Mission Fleet Shock Trooper? Well, I got that from Amazon, and the rest of these figures I got from the Goodwill outlet, and the two Shock Trooper regular editions I've just had in my collection for a very long time. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.